What's up? What's going on, Pisces? So I thought I'd do a different reading. See how y'all like it. What is Pisces manifesting? All right. So a lot of y'all are very focused on manifesting. These cards have been popping up like in all of our readings. It's a theme. So let's just see. I'm going to use the Law of Attraction Island Time Wellness deck. And we'll see specifically what Pisces could be manifesting at this time. Okay. So God and Spirit Universe, what is Pisces manifesting at the moment? What is Pisces manifesting at the moment? Let's see what else we can get. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to go with these. All right, Pisces. So, all. All right. First things first, we have paradigm shift, Pisces. Ugh, my nails, let's see. It says, new experience is integrating now. Materialization, growth, expansion, progression, cycles, and change. Okay, and that has been a theme currently in our readings. A lot of change, a lot of transformation here. All right, it definitely feels like you guys could be living a totally different life, okay? You guys are reinventing yourself, Pisces. That's what you're manifesting. You are manifesting a reinvention of yourself. So there's a lot of change. You could have a completely different life now or in the next year than the last 10 years of your life, okay? Things are about to shift for you and you're about to head into some sort of new reality, some sort of paradigm shift, all right? We have igniting the exciting. So finding your soul's purpose, talent, new chapter path, life change, sharing your unique gifts, all right? So some of you guys are still searching for those talents, trying to figure out what are your talents because this came in the reverse okay and i'm going to take note of that so um ultimately though you are manifesting like i said change this life change is happening this paradigm shift is happening you guys are totally reinventing yourself and this new life could be solely based off of your talents your skill sets what comes naturally your god-given gifts okay so Really take note of that and spend a lot of time with yourself creating, okay? Because I feel like you guys have a lot to give, all right? Right now, you're also observing. So it says not getting caught up in the story or the details. Total acceptance of what is. Step back, see the bigger picture, all right? So you're trying to see the bigger picture right now. You're manifesting something that's super powerful and immense in your life not anything small, all right? And you're trying to just make sure you're being the best um, that you can be. And, and you're really, like I said, looking at the big picture. So it's not just about you. It's about everyone in your life and how they fit into your life, all right? We have here serenity, and it came in the reverse. And it says taking care of your vibration, positive environment, clearing your space, chakra, energy, balancing. All right. So right now you guys could be living a bit cluttersome. All right. Could have some clutter around you because this is in the reverse. You could feel not as at peace as you could be. All right. It's just because you got to get some things in order here. All right. You need to take care of your vibration. So by doing that, that means taking care of your environment, organizing, making sure you have everything in a really, you know, nice space so that you can um, feel creative and feel like you're in a clean, spacious environment, okay? And really focus on your um, positive vibes because if you allow people in your energy who are negative, best believe they're going to transfer that energy to you. So you could step into the room and be so positive and so happy and so optimistic for the day. And then somebody comes in there and they steal your energy and now they have shifted their negative energy on you. So really make sure that you're in a positive environment. Make sure that there's positive people around you. And right now, just because this was in the reverse, this could be something you need to focus on Pisces. Your serenity, your well-being, it needs to come first. All right. And that's the only way you're going to manifest effectively. Okay. And then we have ultimate love and thank God it came up right, Pisces. So we have forgive others and yourself, release the past, send love and light, change inner to change outer. All right. And then we have the mirror image here. So I feel like you were really taking a nice hard look in the mirror. Um, 
when it comes to yourself, Pisces, and just kind of like analyzing yourself, analyzing your past love situations, and really trying to figure out like, what is the ultimate love? Like, who is that ultimate person that I would want to be with? Who do I want to manifest into my life? All right. And you realize, or, or there's some sort of epiphany that hits you and you're like, oh my God, I can't effectively start a new positive relationship if I'm still holding on to the past. All right. I can't hold grudges on my exes. I can't talk about how my exes ain't shit if I want to start something new. All right. So you really need to forgive people who have committed trespasses against you, people that have betrayed you, people who have manipulated you, people who have used you. All of those things have probably happened to you and in love. All right. But you got to let that shit go. You got to let it go so that you can move forward in a new positive light. And unless you send love and light energetically to the people who have harmed you in the past, you're going to be held back spiritually all right and that's something that we all have to come to terms with and if you're not there yet then you're just not there yet all right but you need to be working towards um forgiveness true forgiveness because if you don't truly forgive people you're going to hold that energy in and you're going to attract more things like that into your life all right and we don't want more disappointments we don't want more liars we don't want more sneaky snaky people around us okay so just forgive them send them love and light and be on your way and know that the next thing coming to you is going to be better than what left you all right because you're manifesting the ultimate love okay pisces so that's what you're manifesting i'm gonna go ahead and pull a pisces oracle card if you guys like this series, what are you manifesting, then um, definitely, you know, leave me a comment and a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this, all right? So what's the messages for Pisces? Messages for Pisces. Give me a good guidance message for Pisces, God. All right. So we have Pisces. Things are not what they seem. Okay, card number five. All right, so you could have some energy of, like I said, conflict before. Y'all, my nails, I cannot. Um, all right, but you need to take a nice hard look at your environment, okay? Some things aren't what they seem. And I'm getting, like, you remember when I just said, um, don't let negative people into your environment, okay? Somebody in your environment could be stopping you, Pisces, from manifesting, okay? So... You really need to see who truly has your back, who's truly supportive of you, and who's actually low-key wishing on your downfall, okay? Because there's something here that's just not what it seems. And with this number five here, Spirit is telling me, like, be weary of people who are secretly in competition with you, all right? Secretly, they don't want you to manifest, all right? And secretly, they could be sabotaging you. So I don't want you to be paranoid, but there's really no reason for you to be paranoid because God is going to let you know. Spirit is going to let you know if people have ill will against you. You just need to pay attention. And when you get those messages, when you get that nudge that something's not right, that somebody's not, you know, treating you right or doing right by you, you need to pay attention to it. Don't ignore it. You can't give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Sometimes spirit is trying to let you know, but if you don't take heed, then, you know, what can they do? What can spirit do? What can God do? He can only send you the messages. You got to receive them. All right. So tap in Pisces, know that things are not what they seem. But other than that, you know, you are manifesting. You just need to be wary of who you allow into your environment because people can come in and screw up what you've worked hard for. All right. So I truly hope these messages helped you in some way, shape or form. If you're interested in receiving the Pisces guidance deck, the link will be below. All right. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you later. Bye.